What's going on guys, Josh Bocock here. Now recently on this channel, we covered the new Deep Seek version three and it is really crazy. If you didn't see that video, check it out. If you don't know about Deep Seek version three, it essentially is crazy with its benchmarks. And this is one of the first open source models that actually rivals some of the closed source models like Claude Sonnet 3.5 and GPT 4.0. So this is definitely a huge step forward in terms of open source AI. And we also recently covered on this channel Autodev, which if you don't know, is a fork of Bolt.new. Now this fork was started by Cool Medin, a YouTuber, and now this fork has become a lot bigger than just a fork. It has become the official open source Bolt.new project on GitHub. The new name is Bolt.diy for do it yourself. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can self host this project on your own and leverage it with the most powerful open source AI model to date, which is DeepSeek version three. This is a really powerful combo that will allow you to build full stack apps. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so like I mentioned, this is bolt.diy. All links I cover in today's video will be in the description down below, so you can check out the GitHub repo. It was previously called Autodev. As you can see here, there is a community. There is a bunch of different new features that have either already been added or are being planned to get added. So since our last video on Autodev, there actually have been a few new features that have been added. So we'll check out some of these as well. But I would suggest checking out that previous video I did on Autodev 2. I'll leave a link down below where I give more of a full in-depth overview if you're not familiar with Bolt.diy or Autodev. Now, just to give you a brief summary as to why Bolt.diy is a little bit different than something like Bolt.new or, you know, V0 or whatnot. So Bolt.new is great. You know, this is their obviously their closed source version. Um, of course, you will have to pay for it. And, you know, you will be limited with certain amount of credit usage and this and that. So there's different plans and whatnot. Of course, open source is great because you can self host it as well as with uh, bolt.diy. You can use it with pretty much any LLM as well as depending on what LLM you're using. You can use it for very cheap or sometimes with certain LLMs like Google Gemini. You could use it 100% for free. So to get started, what you're going to do is you're going to copy the GitHub repo link right here, which is in the the description down below then you're going to go to your command terminal and you're going to cd change directory into whatever location you want to clone this repo then you're going to run the command git clone and then this repo link right here that's going to clone the repository as you can see here once you clone the repository i simply just change directory into uh, bolt.diy and then i just opened it in cursor you could open this in vs code you could open this whatever IDE you want. I just like cursor. Now, once you have it open in cursor, you will see that there is a .env.example file. What you're gonna do is make a copy of this file and rename it to just .env. Then you're gonna go into that .env file and you're gonna add the environment variables of all the different AI models that you would like to use, whether that's Grok, Hugging Face, OpenAI, Anthropic. For our case, we're going to do DeepSeek right here. So if you don't know where to get your DeepSeek API key, you'll go right here. I'll leave a link down below. You simply go to Access API. That's gonna take you into the DeepSeek platform. And you would just come to API keys, create a new API key if you don't have one already, and then copy that API key and you're good to go. Now, the one thing I will say about DeepSeek's model is that it doesn't currently have image capabilities yet, which is kind of one downside. Um, so hopefully they get that in the future. So if you do want to use um, this with some image capabilities, because Bolt.diy allows you to switch LLMs as you're you know building out your project, then make sure you put another API key such as OpenAI or Anthropic, for example, that does allow image capabilities because Bolt.diy did get some new um, cool image features that I'll show you in just a second. But once you have the API keys plugged in, all you're simply going to do is either go back to your terminal or just go into the terminal right here in your IDE and run PNP run. Uh, sorry, you're going to go PNP install first. Okay, so PNP install. And then once that installs, you're going to run PNP run dev. Okay, if you need those um, commands, you can actually just check right here in the repo you'll see that it mentions that right here pnp install right here and then pnp run dev all right so that's going to spin up bolt.diy on localhost port 
5173. It's a remix app. So now we can go to localhost 5173 and you'll see we have bolt.diy. So as you can see, it looks very similar to bolts.new. Like I mentioned, this is the official open source project of bolt.new right now. So now they have the actual uh, new logo right here that is the exact same as bolt.new, except it says DIY, which is with purple. It looks really nice and it also has quite a bit more features than the actual closed source version, right? So we'll go over some of those right now. So first things first, let's go ahead and change our LLM to DeepSeek. Now you will see if you didn't enter any API keys in your .env file, you could actually enter API keys right here in the user interface. Now you will see it says not set will still work if in .env. So since we did set it in our .env, we don't have to set it here. The .env is kind of like um, the main you know, place where you can set those API keys, but you could also set them right here in the user interface as well. Um, but you don't have to if they're in the .env file all right now if you click here you could also just get your api key right there it gives you direct access and we're just going to use deep seek coder right now now um, we have a few different options you can see we could upload a file if we were using a model with image capabilities which we're not we could do voice which is speech to text right here and we could also import chats import folders clone a github repo so there's a lot of different options my prompt is going to be build me a fully fledged front end crm that is beautiful make it have advanced features and built on next.js now you could also go here just as a side note this is the prompt enhancing tool right here this is going to enhance the prompt as you can see right here it's actually creating an in-depth prompt now i'm not going to use this because this goes over like makes it very in-depth as you can see talking about next.js 14 with the following specifications core features crud uh, management right here um technical requirements app router typescript it talks about prisma and like setting up a back end which we're not going to do we're mainly just going to focus on some of the basics right now just so it doesn't take too long and we can test everything out so let's go ahead and run this all right so we can see here i'll help you build a modern crm using um, Next.js with dashboard and analytics, content management, tracking, task tracking, calendar integration, advanced search and filtering, responsive design, and Tailwind CSS. As you can see as I'm talking here, it's creating the package.json, Tailwind, and DeepSeek is lightning fast. As you can see, it's doing this very, very quickly, which is nice to see. We're creating the dashboard.js, the index.js. I probably should have specified I usually like using TypeScript to post to JS, my Next.js apps. But um, yeah, this is just fine for the video. Now it sees, shows here that we are encountering a terminal error. So we encountered an error while running the terminal commands. Would you like Bolt to analyze and help resolve the issue? So we will say yes. Okay, so this error occurs because Next.js isn't installed yet. Let's install the dependencies first. So boom. Okay, so it took a little bit here, but now it's finally compiling. So let's go to preview here. It should hopefully go any second. Okay, so we're getting a preview error, so it looks like a fail to compile, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to ask Bolt because we're missing the task board component, so we're going to add that in right now. Okay, so I actually had to specify a couple things. Just make sure you're very specific with your prompts. Like I told it, use app router and TypeScript. No backend or external API, just front end for now. Um, so make sure that you're very specific. Just as always, it's always good practice when you're using AI tools. Keep that in mind. So now... We're getting a 404 preview error, so I'm just going to say that we're getting a 404 preview error, and it hopefully it fixes it. Okay, getting some import errors here. We'll just ask Bolt to resolve these. Okay, so now we loaded the dashboard, but as you can see, it's really ugly. So I'm going to say make it look really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to say make it look way better, have some functionality, maybe some graphs, etc. All right, so for some reason, I was getting just text like you guys saw. So I said, why is it just text, no interface? It added some styling right here and some configuration. Now I'm going to ask it to add light mode and dark mode. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents. AI-powered appointment setters that work 24-7, never get tired, and book appointments while you sleep. 
Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. Okay, and now we have the dark mode toggle and light mode toggle, so it is working. Um, and and as you can see this didn't take too many prompts and one thing i will say like i said before make sure you're very specific with your prompts um now a couple other features i just want to touch on with bolt.diy that i think are really awesome so one is this feature right here now we won't actually be able to use this since we're using deep sea coder and like i said it doesn't have image capabilities yet but you can go like this kind of like screenshot something from your interface like so and as you can see well you can't see my faces here but it says failed to initialize screen capture if you're using a model like OpenAI or anthropic you could actually screen capture um the interface and say hey change this or change that so something similar that lovable.dev has i know i think v0 has that now too a lot of other tools are getting this so i think that's really awesome and then also too guys we have a few options over here with the code if you didn't know yet you can actually sync files so say if you upload a folder from your computer you can actually sync these with the um the code there and then download code so you can download the code this is very useful of course okay so you can toggle the to uh, terminal right here now you can go between the bolt terminal and a regular terminal where you can run commands now if you are going over to preview and you're seeing no preview available i would suggest to check in your terminal and make sure you're actually running npm run dev or pnp run dev here you can push to github and that's pretty much it guys all in all i think bolt.diy powered with deep seek version 3 is a very very powerful combo and i would definitely suggest you guys to check it out and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below guys i'm definitely extremely excited to see where open source models are going to take us in 2025 we're seeing some really crazy stuff right now in the AI space. And I am also very excited to see where Bolt.diy continues growing with their community and all the new features that they're putting towards. So shout out to Cool for all the hard work and shout out to the community for all the hard work for making this tool what it is. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you're new here, we upload videos all the time on AI, marketing, sales, business. So if you like that type of content and got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. Happy New Year's, everyone. I hope you guys are ready to make this year the best year of your life. Oh, what a time it is to be alive. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest AI trends, news, all that good stuff, make sure to subscribe, but also check out our free Facebook group and Discord channel, stridecommunity.com. I'll leave a link down below. And then also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our Stride AI Academy, definitely check that out. I'll leave a link down below. It is a community I've been putting together. There's going to be so much value in this community, guys. So definitely check that out. And then also too, guys, if you run a business and you need help with your systems, marketing, sales, CRM optimization, or if you want to implement AI agents, AI appointment centers into your business, AI cold callers, whatever the case may be, book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply, and we can see if it's a good fit or not. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.